Hi everyone, Dr. Kusuma here from Surya Cosmetic Surgery. It's Thursday, consult day, so I just came out of a, a patient's consult and I want to point this out to you guys. It's why it's important to choose the right procedure for the right reasons, really. Uh, it's become too, too uh, a prominent just to go in and get a procedure done because it's popular, but it has to be applied for the right person for the right reason. So this is a 39 year old young female who came to see me just now, literally. So she had aggressive liposuction done of her neck. That's all that was done, aggressive liposuction, because you know there's a little bit of you know, fullness there, they don't like the double chin look, and so liposuction was done aggressively. So now, very soon after, she's only 39 years old, very soon after, since all of that fat was removed, the deeper structures, which are these muscle bands called the platysma muscle bands or the turkey bands, are now very visible and very prominent in appearance. And it's a bad look at 39 years of age to have such you know, thin skin there and have those bands visible very clearly. And you can see it looks unattractive uh, you know, on the side view. I didn't want to zoom out to you know, preserve the patient's privacy, but it's pretty, pretty bad if you look at it you know, in the neck. Uh, I can zoom out a little bit here to show uh, here, perhaps a tiny bit more, you can see how very clearly you can see these bands in many, many looks. Any time you have, you have that look. So when liposuction is considered in patients of the neck, one should also discuss the implications a year down the road because it takes some time for the skin to settle down. It takes some time for you know the response or the healing and the final result to show up, not like uh, two weeks later. So in this case, very you know about a year later or whatever time has been since uh, 38 to 39, this has showed up. Now she's here to fix this problem. So when liposuction of the neck is considered, um, I do a few things. Let me just show you here real quick. So if you have, a neck like this, you know, the, the, the neck band here, the fat here, you don't want to do too much where it's very, very, very tight like this because you need some fat here so that it doesn't show the deeper structures there, okay? If you look at it from the side view, these bands here are going to show up. So the operation that I like to do instead of just liposuction is to make an incision underneath the chin, underneath the chin right here, chin right here. Do liposuction in open format to see what kind of fat you're removing. Expose these bands at the same time and then preemptively, proactively unify them at the same time so that that problem doesn't show up like that that I showed you. So another way, I'm not saying liposuction should not be done. What I'm basically saying is that you should comprehensively think about the consequences downstream that are going to be a problem. So in this case, liposuction can and should be done. At the same time, however, I make a tiny little bit of incision here and make sure that it's as tight as can be. And then when I expose these bands, I unify them at the same time, but the bands don't show up. In addition, I put a probe through the same incision called J-plasma. J-plasma renuvion, and, and I put it in underneath through the same incision again, and that probe is gonna cause the skin tissues to contract at the same time. So the procedures that are done really for the neck are going to be the liposuction, the unification of those bands and the J plasma to ensure that the, the tissues shrink more than naturally they would. So that would give you a much better long-term result than just doing liposuction alone. So please remember that picture next time you consider liposuction only of the neck.